much appreciated. So first game I wanted to wanted to cover tonight, like I said. Some people have probably seen this, some people have probably heard of this, but I don't know how many people have actually gotten to play this on the cabinet. I'm gonna talk about the uh, the hottest uh, the hottest summer movie of 1983. I've got an official video game. I'm talking, of course, about Crawl. <laughs> uh man. Uh, Three Stooges was 1984. Yeah, you might uh, you might have seen this cabinet. I've I've come across a couple. Um. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of we're kind of stretching it just a little bit, but uh, yeah, Curl was a uh, was a movie that came out in the summer of 1983. Uh, apparently, uh, Gottlieb was like owned by they were owned by Columbia Pictures, which was the company that was releasing Curl. So they had uh, uh, they were able to like work closely with the the uh, the script of the movie, I guess, to to like develop the game while it was while the movie was being filmed and all that, so... They were able to, like, release the game, like, at the same time, like, the movie came out, and, you know, they were... Uh... They were pushing this... Uh, they were pushing this pretty hard. Yeah, okay, some people haven't seen the game. People have heard of the movie. But not... Maybe not the game. But, yeah, some people have de definitely seen it. This is a twin-stick game, and the twin-sticks are very, uh... Uh, they're very... You can barely see them there. They're, like, very, uh... Very skinny. Very long and skinny. Compared to, like, most joysticks. And, yeah, the, each... Each stage in this game has, like, five scenes. Which they kind of... Kind of spoil here. Yeah, this did get an Atari 2600 port, but the Atari 2600 version of Crawl was, like, a completely different game. Uh... Was, oh yeah, there was this. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're hyping this up so much. Twenty-five million dollar fantasy adventure from Columbia Pictures, the producers of Tootsie, Gandhi, and Blue Thunder. Backed by a six million dollar four-week advertising blitz, Crow will open in approximately fifteen hundred first-run theaters beginning July 29th. Uh, blah blah blah. I have not actually seen the movie. I think I. I've maybe seen bits and pieces of it on TV, but I haven't seen the whole thing. <laughs> if you like Gandhi, you'll love Crawl. <laughs> that's a that's a good way to put it. And so they were uh, apparently they were they were doing some big. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to like uh, shrink this down until I get both both halves on the screen here, huh? Let's try to. Let's try to get both sides of this. Let me add the other one. Kacha. Uh, that's almost good. Yeah, close enough. So they were doing a uh, <laughs> doing some sort of some sort of movie tie-in. You know, trying to get the uh, Try to get uh, the awareness out about Krull. Get people into the arcades to, uh... They were giving away 200 free posters. That's cool. And you could get two free, uh... Two free credits of the arcade game if you brought in a... Brought in a coupon or something. Um... Obviously, I was... I was too young when all this was, was happening, so I didn't really, uh... Uh... I didn't see any of this, uh... This promotion or anything, but... Um... But yeah, they were uh, they were pushing this really hard. Unfortunately, the movie uh, kind of ended up flopping. I don't think it even like made its uh, made its budget back in the theaters, <laughs> and I don't think it did particularly well on on home video either. So yeah, they thought it was uh, they thought it was going to be a hit, but sometimes it doesn't. But as for the arcade game, how is the arcade game? Well, let's take a look. It certainly has a cult following, yes. 1983, yeah, I got the right. 
So I very much enjoy the uh, the sound design of this game. It makes a it makes a lot of good video game noises, and it's definitely uh, definitely enhanced a bit by the cabinet. Okay, the game's already like going through the demo. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Oh yeah. All right, let's get right into it. I've played this a bit. I know what's going on with this. So in the first stage, uh, so the main guy Colin has a weapon called the Glaive. For some reason, it's split up into five pieces on this mountain, and you have to uh, avoid boulders. If you uh, if you let a boulder chase you, you start getting points. Yeah, I'm, I'm Col Colwyn one. Colin one. He had to grab it in lava in the movie. Okay. Well, I guess that would have been more dangerous. Yeah, it's got grazing bonus. Isn't that cool? Alright, shoot the slayers and rescue your army. So there's eight dudes on the screen. You always pick up one at the beginning. So now it's, it's an actual twin stick game. The problem is, uh, you can only fire four shots at a time. and You have to wait for the glaive to return. So it's not like Robotron where you can just hold the button, or not hold the button, hold the joystick down and keep firing. You have to like kind of time your shots, because then you have to wait for them to come back. So yeah, it's definitely a Robotron feel to this, but more strategic. Ow, 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 ow. That's right. So now that I rescued the members of the army, they're still in danger, though. I have to pick them up and lead them to the hexagon. So when you touch one of the guys, a hexagon appears. Yep. The hexagon can also kill enemies. So this is this is the worst part of the game because this part in the middle is very uh, fucked up. It's easy to get caught on these rocks, and all the enemies fire diagonal shots at you, so... Kind of have to take it slow. You know, like that guy in the rocks right there. That's a oh god, he shot me. Damn, I'm not doing very well. Luckily, there are extra lives, uh, but I got to make the the trek over there. Okay. Once you save the last guy, the level's over. All right, now we have to break down the front wall of the hexagon when it is black. So you just wait. Wait, it when it turns black. That's it. <laughs> so you get 1,000 points for each guy you save there. Nice guy, I got like 7,000. All right, now we have to save the princess. Avoid the beast. Avoid its fireballs. The beast cannot be killed. He can be stunned with the glaive. And then he gets embarrassed and runs away. And that's a full loop of crawl. And of course it goes to a second loop where enemies will be more aggressive. Where is the... Oh, it's hidden behind the grass, I see. The boulders actually break the trees. Did you notice that? That's that's kind of cool. That's, that's a surprising amount of detail. I don't remember what this game does to, like, you know, make you hurry up here. I assume the boulders just keep falling even faster. Like that. Um, I can't get in there. There we go. Da -na -na -na. All right, I have to be better at shooting these guys this time. Also, the uh, yeah, you hear that? Wow! One of your dudes died. It's hard to get all eight, and you want to get as many as possible because that gives you more bonus points. But if you do get, if you do save less, like it means there's there's less people you have to save in the next stage, so that can kind of make it easier. 
at the at the cost of less points, so there's kind of some risk reward thing going on here, I guess. Yeah, you don't want to lose your dudes. Alright, uh Yeah. Ah Jesus Christ! Telefrag. Okay, they're all they're all spread out. This is bad. My dudes do not want to be saved. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm gonna have another credit because I wasn't very happy about that. <laughs> about that credit. Any your initials in the roll of kings. Roll of kings. Yeah, this is based on the movie. Like I said, they were. They did get to work with uh, Columbia Pictures and like having the uh, having the script available to them, so they could actually release the game like in conjunction with the movie. That's that can be pretty helpful to like you know, in theory, uh, capitalize on the the popularity of the movie. You know, had this had this movie actually been popular. <laughs> Because then, then otherwise you get things like, uh, uh, like Valley Midway's Pinball Division. And their, in their last years, like they, uh, you know, they, they were trying to, were trying to make Pinball 2000 a thing with that holographic display. And like the first game they released was Revenge from Mars, which was, you know, an original thing. But the second game was, was Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, and they. It, it cost them, like, a lot of money to get the Star Wars license, and then they had to, like, increase the cost of the game, but they are like, okay, well, no, it's it's Star Wars, though. We're going to make our money back for sure. But, like, you know, Lucasfilm was very, very protective of the script, and they couldn't uh, they couldn't get the game out on on time to, like, at the same time the, the movie came out, so it came out, like, months later. You know, after, after Episode One, The Phantom Menace had actually come out, and people saw Jar Jar Binks... <laughs> And all that, so yeah. I mean, it was it was Star Wars. How could it go wrong? Oh, yeah. So sometimes timing is key, but even in this case, it doesn't help when the uh, when the movie was not uh, not a big deal in the first place. And yeah, in old versions of Mame, like what was it like? Uh, Either enemies or fireballs in the stage were invisible. That eventually got fixed. Man, I am really fucking bad at this stage. This is part in the middle. They just... They're really good with those diagonal shots. Ooh. <laughs> Timers, too. Now I'm getting some Daytona USA vibes from this game. If you shoot the wall when it's not black, the, the glaive just gets stuck. But then it comes back to you, so... Did I save all eight dudes there? I've also... I've also seen that there's like a way to like get the... Get the fireballs like stuck in the stage and then you can just keep shooting the beast for points. I believe John McAllister demonstrated that to me at uh, one of the Northwest Pinball shows, so this game unfortunately might have problems with infinite leeching, but you know, try to play on the level. Twist Neko, hey, thank you for the for the twenty two months. <laughs> yeah, I like how the, the beast just like gets embarrassed and leaves. Ah jeez, save the princess. This looks bad. Also, this this it looks like a pit, but it doesn't actually kill you. Thank God. No environmental hazards. Yeah, this guy's going ham. Alright, let me get past this stage. 
Also, sometimes the hexagon gets stuck and goes really slow. I'm not sure what's up with that. Ow, 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 ow. All up there. Yeah. Get over there! Come on, dude. Uh, 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 come on, dude. Dude, I'm trying to save you. You gotta, you gotta work with me here. Nice. Okay, I can't remember when the next extend is. I think it's like the first one's at 30, and then it's like might be every 50. So 80,000, something like that. No. Or no, did I get it? Yeah, 30, well, 30k, 80k, and every 50k. Okay. Oh, see, the fireball's stuck. Oh, damn, it just... Youped out of there. What other arcade games did Gottlieb make? Well, we'll look at a few more after this. But basically, they're they're mostly well-known for Qbert. But they also made things like, uh... Like, Reactor... And, uh, Us vs. Them. <laughs> That's a 1984 game. They were more of a, a, of a pinball company. Their pinball division was around for, around for a good while. They have very, very amusing backlash art. I made class of 1812. <laughs> the Cuber people. Where is that dude? Do okay, he's dead. <laughs> okay, because that guy died. I think I only saved like, what, like four or five people? That means there's less to save on the next stage. Which makes the stage easier, but I'm only gonna get like 4,000, 5,000 points. Looks like five. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Ah! Thought I could fucking make it. Okay, there's two left. Thank you for the thank you for the best of green hair. I might have missed some bits earlier during the uh, during the scam train. Oh. oh, now the colors are actually changing pretty quickly. Now the stage actually becomes uh, not really hard, but a little more dangerous. There's the extra life. The beast can only have so many fireballs on screen at a time, too, so... Ah, jeez! Yeah, you better run, bitch. Okay, I just wanted to do, like, yeah, a couple loops of this. You get the picture. It kind of kind of continues on like this. Boulders are getting a little more dangerous. Dudes will fire more shots. I don't remember what my PB is. Like, I think I got like 400,000 or so once. Jesus, everybody's dying. Okay. I only saved like three dudes. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. Less dudes to save on the next stage, but, you know, less points. Oh, there were four? The glaive's only in the movie for like 10 minutes? Man. What a letdown. Also, I guess Gottlieb was gonna make like a curl pinball table, but they only made like 10, 10 units for location testing and then never went into full production. So 
they, uh, they had big expectations for the license. I think I just ran into the hexagon. Does the next level have any of those new pinball tables that have been producing? They have all of them, pretty much. They're like a... they're a stern uh, distributor. I played the new Jaws table on Saturday. It was pretty good. Yeah, they pretty much have all the... all the stern stuff online so you can use your... your insider account. Another extend this way. Uh -huh. I don't know if I like Jaws as much as the Foo Fighters table, but it's it's pretty good. I liked it. They had the the pro and the the premium with the uh, the upper play field. I got to play both of those. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Crawl all night, I guess. <laughs> all right, let's just kill this off. Ow, 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 ow. Enter your initials in the Roll of Kings. I think that's a really good name for a, a high school list. Spank me. Thank you for the 100 bits, the Ultima. A big plastic jaw jumping out that you can hit. The premium table has a boat on, on the table, and when and jaws will like come out underneath and like knock the boat up. But it's not there on the pro, I, the pro model, I think. Anyway, that's Crawl. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know what everybody else thinks. Some people have played this, some people haven't. But we're gonna do a we're gonna do a quick poll in chat. Doesn't matter if you've played the game or not. Go by uh you know how impressed impressed you were by the game? If you were would be like likely to play it on a scale of one to five or whatever. We do that for every game. So I'll put a poll in chat. You have like a minute to minute to vote, and then I'll give my uh, my personal rating too. I changed up the uh, the music a little bit. Could it be four manga? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows? What's up, Trina Box? The third stage is a little, a little weird. Yeah, I don't like how. Uh, I don't like that section in the middle. Those enemies are, they're, they're snipers. They will gun your ass down. Some different racks on the loops, yeah. Game is better than the movie? I could see that. No, it seems like some people like the movie. But like I said, I I still haven't seen it myself. Damn, 63% of the votes. Gave it a 4. 94% gave it a 3. Couple, couple 5s even. Nobody even gave it a 1 or a 2. Man, Chad gave it a 4. I am in 100% agreement. I think it's, it's pretty close to a 5, but mm, yeah, that, that, that third stage kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, Prince Hortkin, hey, thank you for the for the 200 bits. Much appreciated. Does get a... I don't know, it, it, it's kind of weird because like that, that fourth screen where you're like knocking down the the wall of the hexagon just feels way too easy. And I never really have a problem with the boulder stage either, so it, it all comes down to the damn shooting sections. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's close to a five. But I think it's a solid four. Good job, Gottlieb. You made a good game, even if the the movie underperformed. Thumbs up. Good game sometimes. <laughs>